In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your iOS app for push notifications. So the first thing that you want to do is log into your developer account at developer.apple.com. You're going to create an, a new app ID or use an existing one. In this case, I'll register a new one. And I'm going to just call this my test push app. You're going to enter your app ID suffix and you want it to be an explicit app ID, not a wildcard app ID. So it's going to be something like com.appressor.test push. Now you want to make sure that this is the same bundle ID or the same ID that is in your config.xml file in your PhoneGap build project. So that would be in the www folder, the config.xml file, and up at the top there's going to be an ID and it looks like this, a reverse domain name. You just want to make sure that this is the exact same one that you're using there. So for the app services, we're going to select push notifications, and then I'm going to continue. So it's going to show me that this is confirmed, and push notifications are enabled, and I'm going to submit. So now I have this app ID, push notifications are enabled, I'm going to click done. After you're done with that, you're going to click on expand your app ID that you just created, you're going to see that it says push notifications are configurable. That means that we haven't, that's not quite ready yet. So what we're going to do is go down to push notifications. We're going to go to, um, you need to create an SSL certificate. Now this is the certi SSL certificate that is going to be used in the intermediary serv server between your site, or, or between your app and Apple. So the way push notifications work is you have to have a server that pings the Apple server and then the Apple server pings your app. It does you, you don't go directly to the app, you have to go through Apple. So you don't have to understand that, just uh, know that you have to create the SSL certificate here. So you're gonna create a CSR file. Um, if, if you're familiar with creating these uh, these certificates, this is the same kind of process that you've already been through. So I have another video on this, I'm not going to go through it in depth again, um, but go ahead and check out that other video if you need to learn about generating a CSR file. Uh, basically we're going to go into Applications, Utilities, Keychain Access. Um, open up your Keychain Access and you can go to in the Keychain Access menu, you go to Create a uh, create a request a certificate from a certificate authority you're gonna put in your email address and your name select save to disk that's going to um, create this CSR file so what you want to do is kind of keep this all together in the same place that's what I like to do um, wherever you built your app you want to kind of make a new folder and just say that this is the test push app certificates and go ahead and save your CSR file in there and have it show me in the finder so this is what you're gonna upload um, right here where it says generate your certificates upload it I'm gonna go into my folder here and uh, I'm gonna upload this I'm gonna click generate sorry if I'm going through this fast like I said there's another video that goes through this in depth if you need to watch that video make sure to check it out it's on our YouTube channel for AppPressor, or it's also on AppPressor.com in the documentation under the uh, builds section. So now you have a certificate. You're going to go ahead and download this. Let's call this, um, you want to leave APS production on there, and then you're going to say, um, I'm just going to call this SSL for um, test push app. So you just want to be really specific because when you start generating a lot of certificates, it starts to get confusing which ones they're for. So I'm just going to save that and click on done. So the next thing that we need to do is create a provisioning profile. And I am going to create one that is a distribution profile. I'm not using development for any of my certificates or provisioning profiles here. Um, it's just a totally different process and it's much easier if you use the production um, or slash distribution certificates. It Everything just seems to work a little bit better. So what you want to do is if you're going to create this app for the App Store, you're going to want to choose App Store. 
for my case I'm kind of just testing right now so I'm just going to choose ad hoc you're going to select an app ID so in my case it's going to be the test push app click continue um, the certificate so you want to choose one of your uh, distribution certificates that you created now this is where it gets a little bit confusing so I'm going to try to explain this well you have a normal distribution certificate that is uh, um, under your certificates right it, it has nothing to do with push notifications it's just the distribution certificate you create for your company so you want to this is the one that you're selecting <clears throat> Um, this was a little bit confusing to me at first because this certificate has nothing to do with push notifications. It's just a normal distribution certificate. Um, so you just want to make sure that you remember which one of these you're using because that's going to be important later. So let's go ahead and click on, and you can uh, figure that out from the expiration date is one of the easy ways to figure that out. So you want to select who you want to be on this profile. Click continue and then you want the name of this profile to be uh, nice and let's see so we're gonna call this test push app distribution I'm gonna generate it so my provisioning profile is ready I'm gonna go ahead and download it and again make sure that we keep this all in the same folder um, the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your certificates and you want to click on your production certificate. So this is going to be the one that you actually used for um, in that previous step. This is the one that you want to download. So in my case it was this one with the February 12th uh, expiration date. So I'm going to go ahead and download that one. Um, you may already have this on your computer. Um, it's, it's okay to download it again. But basically um, so now let's look at our certificates. We have uh, we have basically two certificates, which we're going to need both of them, and then we have a mobile provisioning profile. So when we go into PhoneGap Build, if we go build.phonegap.com, um, when you actually build an app, it is going to ask you for. Um, Let's see, say we're going to, so when you, let's say I already uploaded this app, if I'm going to uh, build this app for push notifications, I need to add my certificates that I just downloaded. So if you had already built an app and it did not include push notifications, you are going to have to rebuild it with the new uh, provisioning profile because the provisioning profile that you used before probably does not have push notifications enabled. So what I would do is click on add a key um, you can also do this in your account but I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I'm gonna go <clears throat> okay so what they want is a p12 file and a provisioning profile so here I do not have a p12 file so what I'm going to do is click on I'm gonna double click on my iOS distribution certificate okay and then I'm going to figure out kind of where that went. I can see that it's right here. Um, I believe, let me just make sure that's the right one, because like I said, it is important they're using the right one here. Let me look. February 12, 2015 is the expiration. Uh, February 12, 2015 is also the expiration here. Okay. Um, Okay, so then what you can do, sometimes it shows you a little drop down like this with a key, and um, I'm actually not sure why this one's not doing it, but let me just show you with this one, because this is what it's supposed to look like. What you're going to do is generate your P12 file for your distribution certificate, so by doing that you just click this little arrow, select both of them, right click, and go export two items, and then you're going to make sure you want to save this in the folder that we're working with call this your um, this is going to be my WP4 distribution uh, P12 and I'm gonna save that and then you're gonna give it a password just make sure you remember what that password is so now if I go back here I will see that I have this P12 um, now one thing that tripped me up 
as I was mentioning before, is you're not generating your P12 file from this SSL cert. You're generating it from your normal div uh, distribution certificate. So make sure to keep that in mind. So when I go back here, then I'm going to choose this P12 file and then the provisioning profile that does have my app ID and my um, and my push notifications on it and then it's going to rebuild that um, and then that so if you rebuild that you, you have to unlock the certificate with your password submit key and then rebuild so that's how you generate these certificates from Apple. Now there's a couple other steps for push notifications, so make sure you watch the other videos as well. And I'll see you in the next video.